Hey friend, join me as we make this cool strap for our Bella Bucket Bag by Aura Rosa Patterns. for my bag and I absolutely love it. This is a new chain that I just got in. So it is available on my website. Um, it's about 22 inches long. It's, <laughs> it's a very, very premium chain super heavy it weighs about seven and a half ounces and it is about 22 inches long and it is gorgeous i can't even lie okay so i made my a strap that i wrote, wove through it and now i'm going to get some edge paint put on it because these are the edges and i can't have that right it don't look good. So we're gonna fix this up really quick. Today I'm gonna to be using Mojo Sews. I'm gonna be applying a base. Okay, y'all know me, I'm all over the place. Um, I did some edge painting and then I decided that I wanted to do something different. So I'm not even gonna show it because I, I wind up not doing it anyway. <laughs> Jeez. For my bag today, I am using Cashmere. It's the Pumice collection from Ultra Fabrics. Guys, Ultra Fabrics is my most favorite material for making bags. Like, I could go on and on about Ultra Fabrics. I know people are like you do, but I, I just, when I get excited about something, like, oh, if you follow my channel, you know, if I get excited, I'm trying to share it because I don't know. I'm so excited about it. I want everybody to know about it. But anyway, I found this. Um, Material while I was just out and about one day locally going to different fabric stores And they didn't even carry it in store. They only had samples of it and it was so oh my god There's so many collections and it was just so pretty and it felt so good and I left there They didn't have it, you know, it's, it's super expensive. They don't sell it. They only sell it in retail to like businesses like um, high-end luxury vehicles um, <clears throat> Hotels we use it for furniture stuff like that. So they couldn't even give me any of it But I wanted to look more into it. And so um, I forgot the name of it and y'all months went by of me searching for the name of That material and finally finally one day online. I don't know what I typed in. Oh, I know I found um, a Piece of paper that I had wrote some notes on from when I visited that fabric store and I had wrote down the numbers You know how each number has like a um um, ID number or whatever. It was a long number, a long ass number. And I just wrote that in and I was like, after that I wrote, I wrote expensive fabric, high end fabric, whatever. And, and it popped, it, it, it caught it and it came up and I was like, oh my God. So then I spent the next few weeks just diving into the world of that company. I read all about them. They're very good about giving back to their community. It's a very great company. And, um, 
I was able to find some online stores that sold their fabric. Because again, you can't buy it from them. You have to buy it in, in wholesale, like thousands and, you know, like like hundreds of yards and stuff. But I found um, a couple of companies online that sold it. And um, it was expensive. And I was, you know, I, I, I ain't got it like that to spend money on, on fabric. But I just kept looking and looking for a couple of weeks. And finally, I said, Ravon, you deserve this. You are obsessed. Buy it. And I found some on sale for like $40 a yard, I think, from Modern Fabric. And if you go on my YouTube channel, you will see that I did a review on that when I got it because I was so excited. Oh, my God. And um, some other sites have it, too. But theirs is more expensive. Like, it, it, it'll run between, like, if you catch it on sale, you may you can find some for like $25, 30 And it goes up to like over $100 a yard. But, um, yeah, so... I'm obsessed with it and I bought some and I was just hooked from then on you know it was my thing it was my that was how I would treat myself I would go and get some ultra fabrics <laughs> but um, down let's fast forward I built the relationship with the company um, and I even went out to New York and visited the storefront and it was just oh my god the colors and it was just so gorgeous but I have I became a supplier and the thing is I run my business out of my house, y'all, and I'm running out of room. Y'all should see <laughs> how much material I had. So um, I've decided to carry a exclusive Love Lola vinyl, and for that reason, I have to get rid of more of this Ultra Fabrics, and that's why I'm offering them for $5. Like, I don't think y'all understand what a deal that is. It, I'm practically giving it away, and... Y'all, this is the best material. It's not vinyl. It's not vinyl. It's not vinyl. And so you don't have that plasticky feel. Like, it feels like real leather. When you interface this, baby, it, it, it feels like leather. And it's very just supple. It's soft. Like, if you've never used Ultra Fabric, I'm telling you, just get it. It's only $5. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But you're going to like it. And once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, I'm not getting any more. Um, I'm not getting any more to that extent, you know. So once I move it, it's gone. Dave is not going to let me bring that much material in this house again. So th it, this is your chance to get on it and try this without breaking your pocket. Okay, so I, I want this strap to be half of an inch. So I cut it two inches long and then I drew a line down the middle long way and folded it in. And I'm going to fold it in one more time. And I'm making this strap for the Bella Bucket Bag by Orarosa, which you see over here in the background. Beautiful bag. Great pattern. All right, and now I'm going to get this sewn on at one-eighth of an inch seam allowance. I should have put my um I should have put my table on. Oh well. It's fine.
Okay, so at first I was just going to do this one chain, but then I really like the way that Alexis did the two straps in the front um, for the handle for the bag. So I decided even though I did this chain, I'm going to incorporate a second strap like she did just because it's a cool idea. And, you know, I want to try to stay true to the pattern as much as possible. So I've got my second strap made. And what I did was I just took the end piece and ran it through the part of the swivel hook. Okay. And now I'm going to run it through the other side, making sure that I don't twist it. Now I did apply edge paint because I thought that I wanted edge paint, <laughs> but now I think I'm going to actually tuck my ends of my little bitty strap that went through my, um, went through my chain. I think I'm actually going to tuck that in between this strap so that it doesn't show. So let me see how that looks. If you watch my channel, you know that I make stuff up as I go and that's what's happening here. I'm going to make it so that the thin strap is going to hang just a little bit longer than the chain. Okay. It doesn't look like it now, but it's slightly longer than the metal. Do a little bit longer. All right, I think that should be perfect. And now I'm just going to take this little piece and bring it around. I think I might, I'm gonna run it through one more length. And then I think I'm going to run it in between the strap as it comes around so that it's tucked in. And then I'm gonna apply a rivet. So this is what it's gonna look like from the front. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's dope. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna do that really quick. That piece can get a little slippery, so make sure that you catch it, even if you have to put the whole in separate and then put it over that rib because you don't want that sliding out. <clears throat> okay, so this was me realizing that I can't really have the little strap be longer because when you put it on your shoulder, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be longer and you can't do that, so. I'm going to go in and adjust it so that the strap without the metal is the same length as the other strap. Even though when I put it on my shoulder, it's it stayed on, but it just doesn't make sense, right? So I'm going to go ahead and make it the same length as the chain. Maybe a little bit longer. Because I, I, I want it to hang underneath the chain, you know? But just a little bit longer. Originally, I used this zipper end, but now that I have decided to add this other strum, this strip, I'm going to, hmm. I'm going to use, I want it to match, so I'm going to switch it out for this one. 
I could use this one, but no, I like this shape because the triangle, they kind of, it's kind of the same vibe, you know? So let me switch this out really quick. If you're seeing any of this hardware and you're like, oh, I like that. Yo, check it out. I have a website. Love Lola Looks. I am a small one woman ran business. <laughs> and it's hard, but yeah. So uh, I have all of these items available on my website. It's lovelolalooks.com. And I am located and ship out of Houston, Texas. Pretty good about shipping. I usually will have it out in a couple of days. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, they all needed to match. That's better. <clears throat> the bag is leaning a little to the front. And that's because <laughs> this chain is so heavy. I'm telling you, this is like super heavy. It's nice. Once I get stuff put into the bag, it's not going to be a problem. So I'm not worried about it, <clears throat> but yeah, this is it. I love it. Okay. I may cut this part a little bit shorter. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What do you think? Should I cut it or leave it? This is the zipper that tucks in. I like the way it looks long when it's hanging, but when I put the handle up, I think I might prefer it to be shorter. See what I mean? It looks good like that. Mm -hmm -hmm. We shall see. But yeah, let's open it and check it out. Oh, this is pretty. It's got that divider pocket in the middle very cool that divider pocket has a zipper this is great good job Alexis very very nice Okay, let me get some photos. It's been overcast, but hopefully I can get something that works. All right, thanks for checking it out. I'm Ravon from Love Lola. If you're on Facebook, I would love for you to join my group. I started a bag making group with tips, and I think I'm going to take this off. It's not too often I say that it's too much, but I think this tassel might be too much with this bag. What do you think? Should I take it off? Tassel or no tassel? Hmm. I'll figure it out. I have a Facebook anyway, yeah. baggy baddies. Um, I would love for you to join it. I have a YouTube channel where I do my full tutorials. This is just little clips on my cell phone, but I have the full tutorial recorded and up tonight. So yeah, check out my website. Show me some love. All right, bye y'all. All right, that's it for the strap. I got the bag all the way finished. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I'm sorry I'm taking a little bit longer for part two of the tutorial. I've just, I've just got a lot going on over here, but um, I'll have part two up. If you haven't seen part one, it's been up for a couple of days now. Go check it out. Get the pattern and come make this bag with me. It's super cute. You're going to love it. You can watch both tutorials on my YouTube channel at Love Lola Looks. All right. Bye.